Hello guys, you are welcome to Data Importation Aspect of Petra. At this stage, I'm going to show you guys how to import your seismic data, your wearhead, your wear logs, the check shot data, wear tops data. How to import it into this Petra software. Firstly, you represent your data with different file types. Your seismic data are represented with ZY formats. So for the seismic is ZY. For your word head is where header. Your word log is an ASCII file or a last file. Your web path file is a div or your web path or division file. A web is an ASCII file. So let's go and import our seismic data into the Petra. So the data of our data are to be taken from the input input data that's where we have your data so you come here you come to the import file click on it under your file of type you pick size zy seismic you go to your desktop you find your import file you open the import file open the seismic data you pick this file you click your open so let's see how we do it. I'm going to pick coordinates ED50. ED50. This. I'm picking this coordinate. I will select. I will either I come here. I click my OK button. At this point, the input data dialog box, I will click OK for all. So this is my seismic. I've generated my inline and my cross line. I can come to the window. I can view it on 3D window. Your the inline is always on in a vertical direction, while the cross line is on horizontal direction. This is okay. You can see. This is my inline. In vertical as is the cross line is perpendicular to the end line so I want to view my of since my seismic section to view your seismic section you go to window you click on the interpretation window and come here so this is this is my seismic section this is my this this is line this is line my airline line so i've just generated my seismic section there's a time interval and uh, this is the inline and the cross line this is the inline and this is the s line s l and i l so on, at this point the next thing i'm going to load is my to import my where a i'll come to import Come to my file. I will put my wet head asterisk. I will go to desktop. I will pick my open my import data. Where my wet header open. As you can see. This is your at this point now the number of columns here must represent must be equal equivalent to the number of columns at this point. Now at this point, how many columns do we have here? We have name, S coordinates, Y coordinates, column three, K B column five, top depth column six, bottom depth column seven, and symbol column eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you at this point we have eleven. I'm going to delete it. So I will have seven. So that's okay. The number of column here has to be equivalent. You can use this to add and you delete with this. The number of column here must be equivalent to here. So number of header line 
number of our number of header line the topic is on line one i will change this stuff to line one i can save at this point and continue later So now I will find what is the, the, uh, the line one, the column one is name is correct. Here I will change this to surface X to tally with this. Here to surface Y. Here I will come here. I will pick user and I will put my KB. I will put my I will come here at the column five. I will pick user. I will put top depth. Top depth. At this point, I will pick user, and I will pick bottom depth. Continuous is okay here. I will pick bottom depth. I will pick continuous here. Symbol. Where symbol? Where symbol? I will click my OK for all. OK. Let's go. Let's save our work at this point. Save get Online training. 